The Benefits of Black Pepper Black pepper is probably the one spice I wouldn't want to do without, I use it in every savory dish I cook and I can tell when someone has omitted it, even if I am eating an otherwise spicy curry. There have been some scares over the possible health risks of eating too much black pepper, but you would never be able to eat it in the quantities that can harm you. Black pepper has always been known as a carminative, which means that it helps get rid of flatulence and intestinal gas. It is also a diuretic, and diaphoretic. The former term means that it helps remove excess water from the body and the latter means that it promotes sweating, which is useful if you have a fever. It can also boost the immune system as it has powerful antioxidant effects. If you buy whole peppercorns and grind them yourself, the outer layer will help keep you slim by breaking down fat cells. What more could you want from one very small spice? Black pepper also provides us with minerals that our bodies need, such as manganese, copper, iron, chromium and calcium. It is rich in vitamin K which is found in green vegetables such as kale, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. You can add ground black pepper to herbal teas to increase its warming effects. I particularly like it with lemon juice in green tea. In Ayurvedic medicine, practiced on the Indian subcontinent, black pepper is used along with long pepper and ginger, as a remedy for a number of diseases. Alone, it is used as a remedy for cholera, colic, headache, toothache, and urinary problems. It has been applied as a paste, externally, for skin diseases. In China it is thought to have warming qualities and is used to treat what is called cold stomach, the symptoms of which include diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. With all these health benefits it is no wonder that in the ancient world black pepper was highly, prized and even used as currency and offerings to the gods. It was the search for pepper, and other spices, that led to the discovery of new lands in the Renaissance and earlier. It was a much sought after commodity and in the Middle Ages, a man's wealth was measured in how many peppercorns he had. Of course, it was very useful when it came to preserving meat during that time, as was salt, but the peasants couldn't afford to use peppercorns for this purpose. Subscribe for more videos.